Hello everyone. Um, I hadn't done a video in a few days. Uh, I had a few minutes, so I thought I'd kind of throw in a couple things together. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if anybody else has seen them, but um, on eBay, there are uh, Goodwill boxes with memorabilia in them. Um, they promise you five pounds. And I've been curious about these. I actually ordered one, um, and then uh, I can't remember the circumstances. My order was canceled on their end for some reason. Uh, so I happened to see them again, and uh, I thought, you know, it's pretty cheap. Um, and these $10 plus shipping ends up like 19 bucks or something. But, um, you know, uh, I'm willing to give it a shot. You figure maybe this is something that hasn't been picked over. Uh, you know, they're, they don't know cards. They're just throwing stuff in a box, shipping it out you know, take a chance on it, especially this is the kind of thing you might find Derek Jeter rookie cards in or old um, Michael Jordans or you just never know. Um, so I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I got two balls in it. One is just a standard baseball, but this is the other one. So this actually says, my phone doesn't want to focus there, um, but this actually says, um, here it goes. So College World Series, and the date on it, probably won't get small enough to see that, but 2008, and this is uh, an autographed baseball. So um, what do we got? Like maybe five or six autographs on here, um, NCAA. So I'm going to be trying to narrow down who may have signed this ball, um, hopefully somebody good. Uh, but it's still a cool little thing to have. Um, and then the, the other ball they sent me was just, like I said, a standard baseball, uh, which is fine. You know, uh, my son can use it, knock it around the backyard, whatever. Um, but then, um, so we get into the rest of the cards. So there were baseball, football, and basketball. Um, I know a lot about baseball cards. I do not know a lot about um, uh, also hockey. So I do not know a lot about basketball, football, and hockey. Uh, I know a little bit, but not a lot. Um, so what I did is if it was a, a standout player I was familiar with um, from hockey or basketball or whatever, I took it out and put it with my key pile. And if not, I just stuck it um, in a card box for like future trades. Uh, there's a guy that um, I trade with a lot who is not interested in baseball. He is interested in basketball and football, so I kind of trade him my cards off. Um, so this is kind of what we try to go through these quick because there's a lot of cards, but um, of course there was a lot of commons that I weeded out. And um, <clears throat> like I said, I put those other sports cards away. Um, so I ended up with this. So this, you see this is pretty sizable stack. This was tons and tons of um, 1984 Fleer. Then I had some 84 Tops in here. I had some, um, I think, 82 Fleer, 82 Tops, um, 83 Tops, some 84 Donruss. So it was um, a nice surprise to see that. And considering they all came just shoved in a bag, um, you know, they're actually, some of them were beat up, you know, but for the most part, uh, these older cards were in very good shape. Uh, so I was pleasantly surprised with that. I actually, one of the things I sell on eBay is kind of a, a vintage card lot, you know, where I throw X amount of cards together and send them out to somebody. Um, so this worked out well for me to kind of have a, a good back stock here of additional cards to be able to put in there. These were also in there. Um, I can find where I just was. So these were interesting. Um, they're, they say 1984 on them. And uh, there's probably seven or eight of them in here. Um, so I think this might have been like the stamps. You know, you put them in the booklet. Um, but th these were in perfect shape as well. I did not look that closely at the players, right? D not yet, because I just sorted these earlier tonight. Uh, but that was pretty cool. Um, so on to... The bulk of the card. So Emmett Smith, unless you lived under a rock in the 90s, you know who he is. 
Uh, there were several Earl Emmett Smith cards. You got Jose Canseco, Harold Baines. Uh, this is a Billy Wagner. Um, there were a bunch of these in there, and I need to find out some more about them. It's almost like a card or a quiz game, uh, but this has got Canseco on it. You got a Kurt Schilling rookie here. Um, check this out, guys. I don't know if you could see this here. The lighting is bad, but this is a Tim Tebow. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Um, Steve Sachs, 83. Dave Concepcion. Um, this is beat up, but this is a Pedro Guerrero rookie card. Why not? King Griffey Sr. Um, I kind of like some of these cards. You know, the the Wonder Busts. You know, um, Greg Jeffries. I got a bunch of his cards. But here's our Todd Van Poppel. This is one of those... Um, Half cards, there's another card that'll fit up and show you one big picture. This is Rod Carew, Tim Raines, 84 Lasorda, Gary Carter, another Harold Baines. This was another surprise, Matt Ryan. I was happy to see that. This is more of those wit cards. Um, Tim Raines, another one of those half cards. Canseco, Willie McGee, we got Rock Reigns again, um, these are Eric Davis's, some of those um, all-stars, two of them, these I was happy to see, because I, I don't know about you guys, but I used to have this Sports Illustrated for kids, I had this, I had Beckett, and um, you know, I used to like getting the cards in there, uh, I then as in now just cared about baseball you know they used to put all the players in there different sports uh, but i would save mine so there's a couple of these in there kind of nostalgic this far card I, I found intriguing is a bgo here and this is leaf limited i was unfamiliar with these um it's a very nice looking card it's in very good shape so i'm hoping it's you know limited release something special how about this, guys? Minor League, Pat Mahomes. Isn't that cool? There was a, like a billion of these pre-rookie cards in there. And I kept telling myself, well, there's so many of these. You know, at some point, there's got to be one that's worth keeping. And finally, I found a couple that were decent. Um, these are scores, and I was not familiar with this subset or um, spinoff set. This is Rising Star. So this is a Randy Johnson rookie card from 89, um, but I'd never seen this one before. So, I'm sorry, this is 90. I can barely read that, the thing is so small, but still a cool card. Cooler, of course, if it had been his rookie. These I had never seen either. Um, this is the checklist, but I've never seen these designs. So this is a year maybe after I stopped collecting. Uh, but this is, of course, for the Hawk. Um, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, like me, the person who had this must have been a, a Doc Gooden fan because these are sleeved up when I found them. There's a couple of them. This is Greg Jeffries. Alan Trammell. There's another Randy Johnson. This is limited edition Babe Ruth from some kind of special edition set. This was cool. This was um, Raphael Devers here. Let's see if this thing will focus for us again. Um, but this, I was shocked to see this. Um, like a lot of you, I've probably been you know, picking up his card, seeing what he's going to do as a rookie coming in the league, um, you know, what, what his career pans out to be. Uh, so this was a minor league card for him. I was very happy to find... <clears throat> Come on. Very annoying with this fluctuating focus here. See if it gets any better. Sorry for the delay on this, but it's kind of pointless going through cards if you can't see what they are. getting ready to go 
this was i'll go back to that one second if we get some kind of focus here but this was kind of a shock this was out of nowhere so this is michael vick's rookie card um i was kind of surprised that this was in there um you know i i'm in virginia michael vick was the man back here um when he was with virginia tech he won all those games and of course uh the big fall from grace with the the scandal he get caught up in in that was a real shame but um <clears throat> interesting to find that in here uh, these are more baseball wit cards what is the problem here focus will not come back there we go so let's just there's my Devers card so very happy to have that we got Kurt Schilling George Foster this is hard to read to chan ho park rookie card um is this the stack yeah this is just a stack of those baseball wit cards um they have modern players vintage players like i said some kind of game on there grant hill last time you heard somebody talk about him huh blast from the past but i remember him being a good player when i was a kid juan gone this card I thought was really interesting. So it looks, we got Frank Thomas, uh, Ken Griffey Jr., Roger Clemens, Roberto, Clem or, uh, Roberto Alomar, Barry Bonds, Kirby Puckett, Mark McGuire, and I think it's Juan Gonzalez. So this is Future Heroes Checklist. I thought this card was pretty sweet. Um, I'd never seen it before, but uh, there's a lot of awesome players on there. And these never heard of them never seen them thought they were interesting so this is from Coors Light okay so um, Coors Brewing Company you see that these are female baseball players in um, I guess some kind of league they have out there in Colorado um, I never seen or heard anything about it so I kind of saved those put them to the side um, Toys R Us rookie set not that Darren Jackson is an awesome player but I was the only one of those in there Roger Clemens, uh, Moses Malone, uh, of course he was last year, this year, C.C. Sabitha, A.J. Burnett, Adrian Peterson. This was a prospect card. <coughs> I didn't see any big names jumping out at me here, but I uh, put it to the side as well. Bartolo Colon. That's this. David Segui, they had that sleeved up. Jim Harbaugh, another Doug Gooden. Jerry Rice. McGriff Crime Dog. Tim Raines. Mookie Wilson. Reggie White. We got here Mike Shanahan. Pat Riley, Coach of the Year. And then these were interesting. Tim Salmon. Somebody may be able to answer the question for me, but I never had any 96 clear that I can remember. And these have such a strange feel to them. I almost wondered if they were some kind of like cloth or special release because they just feel so strange. So um, very cardboardy, thin. They just didn't feel like a regular release to me. We got Biggio. We got Jason Kendall. Greg Jeffries again, Bazooka, um, Kevin Apier, and these I kind of pulled out. I don't really care about Bazooka, but I was kind of going to see if um, somebody was interested in a trade. Dan Marino, um, been a Dolphins fan my whole life. Of course, nothing to be a fan of now, but back in the day, Marino was the man. Um, this was a nice rookie. <clears throat> you see the shine on that there. Um, this isn't any big name player here, but uh, the card looks like kind of a refractor or a special edition release um, for this particular rookie card. David Robinson. And finally, we have a Barry Larkin. So, sorry about the crappy focusing in there. Um, so that's what I got out of it. Um, addition to all these old cards and then a huge pile of stuff that um, I'm going to 
kind of throw on the trading block <clears throat> as well. Um, so I felt it with the baseballs. It was definitely worth the money. I might be buying another one soon. Just kind of see um, if it's a one-off or they're pretty typical. Um, I really wanted to get in on the... Um, repacked wax that everybody's talking about on YouTube now. Um, I watched the videos on those. I watched a couple opening videos. I went to buy them. <clears throat> they were out of stock on the website. They were out of stock on eBay. Uh, somebody was selling some on Etsy. They were gone. Um, kind of like you, you introduce to them. You're interested in them, but you can't find them anywhere. So they kind of sucked. Uh, but this was... Uh, Kind of around the same time I saw this, I grabbed it. I figured, why not? You know, I saved money actually. This is a whole lot cheaper than that would have been, and see what we can get. And also, just to throw this in in the same video, these are some recent pickups that I have. <clears throat> so, if you watch my other videos, you'll know that if I see vintage cars in particular, I don't really care as long as they're not totally roached. If they're a little beat up, um, I like to have them, an example of them. Um, even the lower grade cards, in my opinion, and vintage are still on the upward trend. Um, so we, this is the, I have the in action, um, the other version of this, uh, I think he's running. Um, and then the regular 72, I got a couple of, I did not have this one. Um, so actually these two cards were on sale together. So Roberto Clemente and Hank Aaron, yes, please sign me up. So I bought both of these. This was an auction item. So this is Harmon Killebrew's rookie card. So, you know, it's it's trimmed on this edge. Um, it's got a little bit of paper loss there. Um, but um, still a great card. So I did not have any of them. Uh, examples of it at all, um, better or worse. So I was happy to get this. I was the only one that bid, so I picked it up. Roy Campanella, so I never had any of them. Um, I don't know how many of you are familiar, but he was a great player. He was in a car accident. Um, he was paralyzed, I believe, from the waist down. They did a card for him, I think, in 59, showing him playing. And then also in the wheelchair, it was like a testament to courage or something that they did. Um, but um, so I was, I was, these were really cheap. They were sold together. Um, I got this uh, 56 and this 57 um, so I'm happy to have those and then so I already have three of these right <clears throat> but the rule on the 1971 Thurman Munson is you can never have too many you know that's if you didn't know that you know that now so this was I believe you know graded authentic here they don't have a grade on the card, um, but $10. Um, so I couldn't say no to that. Um, actually, hold on, no. This I did say no to. I watched it, and then the guy sent me um, an offer on eBay. You know how they do that thing where they'll send you 20% off, 30% off. Um, and he made it even cheaper because I was, I was just watching. I was going to walk away from it. And, um, and so I pulled the trigger on it. Um, so, um, with the black borders and the, uh, shoddy lighting we have here, um, it's actually not bad. Um, that corner has a bend in it. Uh, there's a little nicking, you know, in a couple of the corners, but overall it's not bad. Um, it's in pretty good shape. So, <clears throat> like I said, I have a few more, uh, but, you know, you never have enough of these things. It's a beautiful card. It's a great image. Um, it's more popular, I think more valuable than his rookie card. So, um, like I said, I've been busy. I haven't done any videos. I figured I'd throw in some recent stuff here into the same video. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.